Right? It's like dealing with the many. Okay, and yoga teaches us that there's out. one underlining intelligence that's animating the many. When we align with that power inside of us, it simultaneously harmonizes us with that same power inside of everything. So whenever we're presented with uh, what's being projected out of at us, whether it's fear, lies, ignorance, hatred, racism, sexism, whatever's coming at us, we can get entangled in it and be drawn down into the gutter with it. Or we can pause, we can breathe, we can reconnect and say, okay, I know what that is. That's, a, that's that trick. Oh, it's a trap. So if I could just stay connected, then I can just either move through it more gracefully, rise above it, and not get entangled with it. So yoga helps us to take everything that's coming at us and absorb it in a way so that we don't get caught by it, but we actually can spin it, turn it into fuel. Because anyone who's acting out is suffering. They, they don't feel love, they don't feel connection, they don't feel grounded, they don't feel supported. So they're acting out. And they don't have the skills and the ability to connect within themselves to root down. So for those of us who practice yoga and meditate, when we interact with that energy, it's an opportunity for us to strengthen our foundation in our practice so that we can become that buffer of compassion. The moment that I decide that whatever I'm engaged in, I'm gonna use it as an opportunity to feel connected to be present, to be mindful, then it doesn't matter what's happening on my screen. I could be seeing any drama, but then I could see through the mask and see that it's all just one thing in disguise, appearing as the many. And then I could say, bless it. I see you, I recognize you. Oh, if some negativity is coming up, maybe that's a reflection of something that needs to be dealt with and brought to the surface. So instead of pushing it away, being like, oh, this is bad, be like, oh, this needs to be healed. Let's work with this. Let's work with this. All the colors of the rainbow coming together. One indigenous tribe of the earth. And this chanting of the holy names, it's a universal language because it's the language of the soul. For me, Chanting is like polishing the mind. So the mind is like a, a jewel, like a diamond. It gets a little dusty sometimes. It has many faces, many facets. So when I chant, I imagine that I'm washing, cleaning, rinsing, polishing the jewel, the diamond, the mind, so that that light inside can shine more clearly through my words, through my actions, through my music, through my poems, through my actions. Uh, so chanting is like, it's magic. It helps Remember to clean the screen, cleaning the filter, so that we can shine more love into the world. Remember, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream.